mutually beneficial thing. So I want you to take just a second as far as your action step, and I'd like you to write down at least one relationship that you're going to have to terminate starting today that is just jacked up. Just something that you are, he's the guy who asks you for a ride to school every single day, and he also drinks, he takes a sip out of your drink while you get gas. And you say, did you just take a sip out of my drink? Yes. You know, the guy who says, can I come over tonight? And then he just stays for, for weeks. <laughs> the dude who lives on the couch. You know what I mean? It's the brother-in-law who lives on the couch and he's always going to get a job. You know, I've, I've been interviewing. You know, who's that guy? Who's the taker? Go ahead, write him down. Write him down. Get, get, it, get it done. Go make that call. Release it. I love you, but we need to have mutually beneficial. So until you benefit me, uh -uh. it is me name. Okay, right there. because you're going to find, I'm going to tell you, you're going to find with Oprah, who's her friend? Gail. Gail, always Gail. Her and Gail, mutually beneficial. But you, if you talk about Oprah, she does not have a lot of time to sip on Haterade. She didn't have a lot of time to sit down and listen to you and say, oh, I'm sorry, what was the negative things you were going to say today? Oh, I'll, let's hang out again tomorrow. Let's be friends. In fact, let's see each other every day at work. No, Oprah just puts the blinders on. She talks about that. It's about positivity. Surrounding yourself. So the next action step is write down what are two positive people in your life that you need to affirm today. You walk out of here and you need to say, Mom, you are awesome. I seriously appreciate you believing in me. You are incredible. It means the world to me. What can I do to help you? Because when you do this, when you start making an intentional decision to have a mutually beneficial thing, Who's the boss you can call and say, you know, I appreciate working for you. I really do. If anything else I can do, I want you to know I really appreciate this job. You know, it, mutually beneficial. But think about what are the people, because I, I want to encourage you today when you leave, try to surround yourself with as many people that you can be in a mutually beneficial relationship with as possible, and you will be successful. Because in times of despair, they're there to cry on their shoulder, and it's not so bad. And when you're excited, they're there to celebrate and make it twice as good. But you have to have that support system. You have to. And... If you're like me, they're not in the state of Minnesota. I moved from Minnesota to Oklahoma to get away from the negativity, and I don't go back. Went for my 10-year reunion, and I'm sorry that I did, okay? But it's just the town I grew up is 2,000 people where everyone's kind of negative there in that town. It's just kind of that negativity. It's, you know, you say, how's it going? Could be worse. Oh, good. Great. You know what I mean? That kind of guy, you know? What, time, what did you do yesterday? Well, I woke up at noon. Okay. I went back, then I went back to bed. Okay. All right. You know what I mean? Just that, they had to get away from that. So mutually beneficial, okay? <laughs> next thing, next point we're going to talk about here, okay, is that you have to work with a sense of urgency. A sense of urgency. Now, I'm going to give you a quote that you might or might not want to write down, but I think it's incredible. It says, days are expensive. When you spend a day, you have one less day to spend. So make sure that you spend each one wisely. That's Jim Rohn. He's a success author. Or, this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Either yeah. way, I don't care if you're taking it biblical or not. I'm sure you can find something wonderful and melodic in the Quran as well. But the point is, is that you have to, we, this is our life. This is all we have. This is it. This is our one life. we got one opportunity. I am so impressed. I've talked to at least five people today who decided to go back to college, and they haven't been in a college for 10 years. That is awesome. That's a little round of applause right there for you guys. That's great. That's good stuff because you decided I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do something. So if you've been thinking about, you know, calling up somebody or making that call, that special somebody, or, or maybe hitting the gym or maybe starting that job or new, learning that new talent, maybe you want to learn piano. I just started piano about a year ago with my daughter, you know, and we do piano Kiyosaki method on Tuesdays. And I'm like, why didn't I do this earlier? I can play Mississippi Hot Frog like nobody's business. You know, I got that going on. I can play Mary Had a Little Lamb. I'm starting to get the left hand working for me, too. Think, what was I doing? What was I doing? But the thing is, we put it off for some day. And you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But Sunday never comes. 